Hey everyone, DQ here, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. And today's video, I'll be showcasing a cool Minecraft mod that I found from one Minecraft version 1.7.10. What this mod pretty much does is makes the terrain a lot more realistic uh, than just the standard Minecraft terrain generation, which is pretty cool in my opinion. So all you need to do is you have to uh, install it with Forge, and it's pretty easy to set up if you have multi MC or something similar like that. And then uh, to create a world, what you're going to want to do is create a new world, and uh, I'm going to put it in creative. And make sure you have the world type as realistic. And we're going to go ahead and create a new world. Now what's cool about this mod is it works with Biomes of Plenty, so if you are playing with a 1.7.10 mod pack, you can use it with Biomes of Plenty. It's, it works with quite a few standard mods, works with a lot of mods actually, I'll put the list in. The link to this mod in the description below so you guys can check it out yourself but as you can see we've spawned here on this kind of beach kind of thing here and we have the realistic looking terrain so we have what appears to be a, a mega taiga biome and honestly it looks pretty cool because we have these realistic trees now i've seen a lot of like uh mods that have done the realistic trees or you know have custom trees and whatnot and it's always been laggy for some reason the leaf blocks uh, lag it up, but I'm not actually. The frames getting a pretty solid 60 FPS here. Frames aren't too bad, so if you do want to generate this and uh, play it on your server or your mod pack or whatever, you shouldn't be, be experiencing too much lag. And what's kind of cool about this is we have a very nice subtle transition between biomes, whereas like uh, Minecraft standard terrain generation or biomes of plenty or whatever, it's all very um, sudden but here we have a nice gradual change here what's nice about this is it uses all vanilla blocks so this mod actually doesn't add any new blocks in there which is cool um, so if you want to like generate this for just a standard vanilla world you can pre-generate it upload it to a server or single player or whatever and what's nice about it is it will also work in 1.8 obviously this mod works in 1.7.10 but the map itself the world itself will definitely work in 1.8 because Again, these are all vanilla blocks. There's no added blocks in here, which is cool in my opinion. So you can generate, let's say, a 10k by 10k world or something, and uh, use that as your 1.8 world. And what's nice about it is, is you still have all the uh, standard generation underground. So you still have your mine shafts, dungeons, caves, you name it. Everything is still there, but um, up above, it looks completely different which looks pretty cool. Now what I have noticed is uh, in the deserty areas it, when you're near the river it gets quite green and the rivers are decent sized they're not uh, weird like in Minecraft where it just uh, you have a river that's like three or four wide and then it'll go to like one wide and then it'll disappear completely but uh, you actually have proper sized uh, rivers in here but like I said this uh, mod does work with um, your standard mods out there which is cool so it will generate with all the like ores and whatnot from various mod packs which is cool so what I'm going to do now is just fly around until I find some interesting uh, areas and I will just sort of showcase them in this video but uh, right here we have a planes and this is a flat planes this would be fantastic to build if you were doing a a mod pack or doing a server this would make it for an excellent spawn because it's completely flat it's almost like one of those uh, ultra flat worlds which is awesome all right so here's another transition we're running into a a birch forest and i like i love these uh, custom trees here they look really nice um alongside with your standard birch trees that you would find in minecraft but i really do like the custom trees and the landscape and the way it just looks it looks awesome we also have an ocean right here. Now, what's cool about the oceans are th they're super deep. Um, they look pretty deep right here. There are actually no deep ocean biomes, but if we look at the Y level here, um, as we go on down here, the Y, the bottom of these oceans can reach down as far as Y11, I have seen. Uh, but these get quite deep. So when you're at a Y11 ocean, strip mining kind of makes it difficult because you're always running into sand and water. But it makes the oceans really deep. As you can see right here, this probably goes down to Y11 uh, right here. So I'm going to go down here and check out how deep this might be. Oh yeah, this is the Y11. So if you're strip mining at this level here, this is 
your standard diamond finding level. You're going to run into some bad luck if you're mining under an ocean. You're going to run straight into uh, water and sand, which is going to make your strip mining experience a little bit difficult and interesting. But it makes the uh, oceans a lot more realistic where they're super deep like that. Which like we are now transitioning into another area here. This would be the beach biome. And I like the way these palm trees look. This is something that they'd actually need to add for kind of like a beach desert tropical feel. I, I do like the trees. I like the mod developers for this uh, mod have done a fantastic job all with the custom trees we have proper sized mountains here so they do go pretty close if not right up to the height limit which is pretty cool in my opinion they also mix blocks in there so you wouldn't think of mixing cobblestone with normal stone but it actually really works it really does work out and then we also have like i said earlier in the video we have these nice subtle um changes within the biome so over here we have a savanna kind of biome we have your birch forest and we have the beach and it's all kind of combining together in one which makes it pretty cool all right and here we are coming upon uh dark oak forest again we have the custom trees in here as well as the dark oak roof trees and I, again i like the way these look they kind of remind me of the whole uh the mod the twilight forest which has similar kind of shaped trees like the fact that that's in here and then we're getting mixed up here again with a different kind of pine forest and we have some nice really tall spindly kind of trees and I think it just makes all the difference in this uh, mod but yeah that's pretty much it for this mod showcase if you guys have enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and uh, check out the mod down below in the description uh, it is on the curse uh, site so you can download it from there and it's easy to add to your mod packs as well it's uh, compatible with biomes of plenty and all your standard mods the only mod it's not compatible with is terraformacraft because it uses a different kind of uh, terrain generation than what terraformacraft uses but other than that it works you know great if you want to have something different and you still want to have biomes of plenty and you want to have some realistic looking terrain but yeah that's gonna be it Thanks guys for watching and uh and uh goodbye. And I forgot that I had the pictures mint. Okay, and, I, and that's dumb. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Well shit. <laughs> okay, I, I think both the guys went down here, but I'm just gonna shoot just to make sure.